Hi everyone, Louis here from Pentestella and welcome back to AppSec School, where we break down the ins and outs of application security into easy to digest bytes. Today, we're here to talk about an age-old rivalry, one that may seem a bit familiar to you. Remember those legendary debates? Tabs versus Spaces, Vim versus Emacs, Linux versus Windows? Yep, we have all been there. Well, there is another argument in the mix, Pentest versus Bug Bounty. But let's get something straight right off the bat. This isn't really fight at all. Imagine if I asked you what's the best tool, a screwdriver or a hammer? That doesn't make much sense, does it? They're not the same thing and they serve different purposes. They are complementary. You need both in your toolbox, just like you need both pen testing and bug bounty in your AppSec toolkit. So let's dive in and compare these two essentials of application security. First up, assurance. A pen test ensures that if someone takes a swipe at your application for a certain number of days, they are unlikely to uncover over any unknown vulnerabilities. Of course, this heavily depends on who is doing the testing. On the other hand, Bug Bounty assures that someone will spend a certain amount of time checking your application, driven by the incentives you provide. The higher the incentive, the higher the chance of achieving stellar results. Pen testing is often less disruptive than Bug Bounty programs. While Bug Bounties involve numerous independent testers who may cause system strain or even downtime due to the high volume of tests, pen testing is a controlled process carried out by a dedicated team. Additionally, during a pen test, findings are communicated throughout the testing process. This contrasts with bug bounty programs where findings can surface unexpectedly at any point in time. This ensures that with pen testing, your team can address vulnerabilities more strategically and with less disruption. Now, let's talk depth. Unless you ask your testers to target something specifically, a pen test will likely provide the same level of coverage across your application. Bug bounty, however, can give a light touch everywhere while offering a deep dive into specific areas. If your incentives are high enough, you may even get top-notch hackers specializing in areas like OAuth 2. Next, let's consider maturity. Pen testing has been around longer than bug bounty and is better understood, especially outside of the infosec world. Insurance companies and compliance regimes tend to care more about pen tests, not because they are better, but because they are more familiar. Let's move on to cost. And like all good infosec practitioner would say, it depends. Both can be pricey and can bring great value for money. With bug bounty, you may face more surprises in cost as you pay for results. Unlike in pen testing, where you pay based on the time spent. Now about accountability. Penetration testing assigns responsibility for unnoticed vulnerabilities to a named entity. On the other hand, Bug Bounty programs operates with a network of independent researchers who aren't necessarily held accountable. Plus, some Bug Bounty hunters may not bother with easy-to-find vulnerabilities or reporting findings they can leverage in a chain, like Open Redirect, for example. Lastly, disclosure terms. Organizations often use Bug Bounty programs to control Control disclosure terms. With pen testing, this isn't an issue because you are paying for the work, and the testing company risks losing a lot if they irresponsibly disclose vulnerabilities. So there you have it. The battle between pen testing and bug bounty isn't a fight at all. Each has its strengths and plays a vital role in application security. Remember, in your AppSec toolkit, it's not a question of either or, it's about having both and using them effectively. That's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to AppSec School for more application security insights. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.